So this week, the five of you are going on repeat dates. I'm not gonna lie, I really like you. I don't want to end this date. Come on, man. If I'm not with my girl, I don't want no relationship no time soon. Oh, okay. I've just come to the decision that we probably should keep it as friends. We were talking about his son and what that would mean for you to accept. I'm all in at this point. I changed my mind about Zion living with us because that's what's important to Mike. Last year, I found some stuff that he lied to me about. Every time we argue, it's not because I went out and cheated. It's from the past. The girl is coming out of your apartment with you right behind her. If it's your roommate's friend. You're lying. Oh, my yeah. God. Well, I promise on my grandmother's grave that I'm not lying. So no way. Whatever. We've been so in love for a minute now. I'm full of. Yes, you I'm are. Full of You're full of crap. How? You what can't sit here and lie and say you wasn't walking behind that girl because if that's the case, how did I walk I, up to you and hug I, you? I never made it out of the threshold of my you door. Did. This woman came. I came out of my door. You did because you was like, oh, go Tamika in the house. Tamika and Vince. Lord. I don't care who came out the door because that's not really what y'all are fighting about. This cycle does not end unless you guys make some different choices. So. How do you want someone to respond to you when they're bringing something to your attention and you're like, I'm just gonna move all over the board until this goes away because I'm not willing to say, yeah, that's what you saw. I recognize in this moment that I could risk losing you, but I know we can't go anywhere unless I start here. No, I don't even know. I do understand why Vince is frustrated, but at the end of the day, he wouldn't be as frustrated as he is if he would just be freaking honest with me and I would not have to keep nagging him about the truth. I think y'all need to have a conversation. Of those things that you have said, I spoke about it, he said I was crazy. He said I was lying. I want you to be honest. I want for you what I believe you all want for each other, is to move forward. Yes. All right. It's time to move on. Things are advancing, but most of you are still searching for answers. So, it's time to step things up. Let's stop searching for something new and invest in something you already have. This week is all or nothing. You're either going on a repeat date or you won't be going on a date at all. This is your last chance to date someone in this experience. So, consider carefully is there someone from this process that you could still learn from? Or would you rather not date anyone? The choice is yours. Shay, tell me, will you be taking Rick on a fourth date? I am not. You're not? Okay, why? Big Rick, not Big Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned a lot from the experience and I don't feel like I need another date. And how about you, Mike? Is there gonna be a date number six? Um, I would say no. Why? Our last date, we ended that date really just being friends. Thank you. <laughs> I was ecstatic when I heard that my friend zoned Whitney. I got scared in the end because by the fifth date, you're pretty much in a relationship. So to hear that just calmed me down a lot. So, Tamika, do you want a third date with Devin? Yeah. Okay, good. The last date, we only talked about, you know, surface things. And I, of course, want to learn more about myself as well. Vince, how about you? Do you want to revisit anyone else? <clears throat> uh... Nah, nah, I'm good. Okay. I don't need any more distractions. I don't need to go on any dates with anybody else because I feel like I just have something so much better um, in Tamika. So Hollywood, now it's your turn. Will Shantae be getting a third date? No, I'm good. Okay. I know what I need to work on as far as the process, not going on dates. Now, Ashley, what would you like to do? Is Kwame getting a fourth date? 
I would say yes. Because okay. I really do feel like it's helping me make the decision that I know that I need to make. And because during this experience, I haven't really been feeling good at my own home. I just need to see where I really want to be. So this dude, what is his name? I don't even know his name. I'm thinking the whole time about these dates. You know, it kind of mess with me, no lie, y'all. You can catch feelings for somebody, but you got to know if y'all took it to another level, I ain't going to be here no more. Like, I'm done, you dig? Working together is the only way to ensure that jealousy and insecurity won't sabotage your relationship. So, for this week's assignment, it's time to declare your vision for the future. You both need to talk about exactly what your future looks like, both individually and as a couple. No pressure, just honesty and transparency. When Shay talked about accepting Zion and wanting to build a relationship with him, I'm starting to focus on the positive parts of marriage, but we need to know that we are on the same path and have the same outlook of the future. Everyone, we're getting so close. Very soon, it'll be time to make the decision we've been talking about for so many weeks. Is it time to go your separate ways? Or is it time to put a ring on it? You want to talk about what happened today at the session? Uh, yeah. After group, I felt disrespected. I felt not appreciated. What do you think happened? I just think that it got a little heated because of old stuff. Revisiting the past is definitely causing the arguments. I messed up, but until she can let it go, we're always going to be in this boat. I just know that it sparked something in you right then. It's definitely something that I thought I had got over, but I guess I just suppressed it. My biggest fear for the future with Vince is that we are going to go right back into the same song and dance that we have been used to. It just kills me when we go back to that and have to keep talking about the same thing over and over and over. Yeah. I think my issue was I just wanted you to own up to that as well. I know he's going to make mistakes just like me. I'm not perfect. I'm going to make mistakes. But when you make that mistake, will you be man enough to say, hey, I f***ed up? I just want you to not take everything so personal. When we got to separate over an emoji for two weeks, I got a problem with that. I it's got a problem. I don't care. Than the emoji. I don't care what happened what before. Happened, it would not have been that big of a deal if nothing else happened prior to that. Before that, I found out that you lied about the girl coming out of your apartment that you won't own up to, and I don't care. I don't want to talk about that. Whatever. So why are you before talking about that, it? Before that, I'm just like I don't get why. You, how do you I do that? I am telling you why I had a feeling about the emoji. It's because all the other stuff led up to it had me believe that once again you were lying. So that's why we separated. We're still talking I about two years issue. ago. No, we're... What are you trying to prove Direct. right now? I'm just saying, Vincent. Like, Don't be just, just saying. Up own up to... to what? To what I've already owned up to for two and a half years? Now you're yelling. Because I'm tired of that. You're trying to... This is something that's never going to... It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm glad you feel that way. Because that's exactly the hole I've been in trying to climb the hell out of this whole time. Oh, my God. You want to hear me admit to this? And I've already done that. That's where my frustration would come from, too, because it's like, dang, whatever I say, she don't even trust me. She don't care. At that moment in that conversation, I, I kind of did feel like just throwing the towel in and just letting everything go because it just seemed like nothing was changing. I'm doing all the right things, and I'm, I'm still kind of not being trusted the way I would want to. So I felt like the relationship was definitely in jeopardy. You're always the one coming at me with something that sparks whatever in your mind. Well, that's not going to happen anymore. I already told you. I don't care if you don't believe me. You should want me to believe it. I don't want you to do nothing but stay black and die. I'm not trying to break your heart. Maybe just be quiet. always the one coming at me with something that sparks whatever in your mind. Well, that's not going to happen anymore. I already told you. I don't care if you don't believe me. I knew where you were coming from, how you reacted, 
because of that old crap keep coming back into play. Like, that's what I just want to get rid of. Okay. None of those people are nowhere near in our life. Okay. I'm tired of talking about them. What really upsets me about these arguments with Tamika is her not trusting me over things I've done in the past. I mean, I've made mistakes, but I'm also a great guy, and she knows that. I don't care about that anymore. I'm focusing on myself so that I can be a better person, not only for myself, but for you. When Vince and I argue, I feel like we're better than that because there is literally so much love between us and I'm willing to get past it if Vince is willing to do it too. I just apologize for us even having to go through that stuff. My biggest issue is just you trusting me. I don't care about nothing else. We can't do nothing without that. I love you more than anything in this world. I just never wanted none of this to happen like that. It's a new day, new start. All right. It's OK, black man. It feels good to finally end the argument, and I feel like I can trust him enough to come to him with anything, and I trust him to be honest about it. I'm sorry, Vince. <laughs> I do not want you to die, but I do want you to stay black. <laughs> Squeeze my butt cheeks for good luck. I'm over here for a second. All right, what do you have on your mind? I was just thinking about everything that we've been talking about in the sessions, and what do you see us in a year from now? When I think about our future, I'm thinking you will be there in the house with me. Zion will be there. He'll have his own part of the house. You know, just doing what we need to do to start building our family. I have come to terms with living with Zion, but we need to still have conversations about what that looks like as far as timeline of him moving with us and what's gonna change in our relationship. Where does the marriage come in? Oh man, the pressure that Shay puts on me to get engaged. I just don't feel like it's fair for her to try to force me or pressure me into marriage right now. That's something that needs to come naturally. And when I'm ready for it, I'll do it. I don't know. I definitely feel like we're further along than when we started. Okay. You know what I mean? I just think that your timeline is just a little aggressive. What are your reservations? I really want to know. You know, a lot's going to change over the next couple years. Mm -hmm. And obviously with Zion around, our responsibilities are going to be different. So I want to make sure that you're comfortable with the new lifestyle we're going to have before we jump into a marriage. And so you're thinking <laughs> Zion needs to move before you're able to figure out if I, I would, should be I your would wife. like to see how you really like adjust to that. Mike will think of any excuse to extend the amount of time that he has to make a proposal. I feel like if I can commit to a new life with Zion and Mike, that he should be able to commit to a proposal. For me, I want to marry you. That's what you come with. I need for Mike to have a clear vision of where our relationship is going. I felt like we were really making progress in this process, but now I feel like we'll lose each other if we don't get there. I think you worry about it too much. We'll be fine. Hey! Good. Hello, sir. You're looking great. Well, thank you, and good yeah, to see you. Absolutely. I actually couldn't wait to meet with Dr. Nicole because it kind of feels like Tamika and I took like all these steps forward and then we go right back to zero. One of the things I wanted to connect with you about is you seem to be overly careful. I'm not sure if it's to make sure you say the right thing, but it's very calculated. A little bit, yeah. I think that's a sensor Hmm. Maybe for Tamika's feelings sometimes. Because you don't want her to feel what? Hurt. I could, you know, just be doing the simplest things. And I see when she's, her attitude is shifting that she's feeling some type of way about whatever's going on. <laughs> like my phone will light up. And it's like her eyes just <laughs> to the phone. Like if I get a text message or something, she's like, hey, you got a text? and. You know, and it's nothing. <laughs> it's my mom or something. And with me and Tamika, every time I think that we have the right answers, we just don't have them. 
Dr. Nicole is breaking down every situation. She makes everything way clearer than what you're thinking in your head. How long does it take you guys to recover? The longest has been like two weeks. Tell me about that. I had just previously worked with a model on a video shoot. The model posted a puppy Rottweiler <laughs> and I put the heart eyes on the puppy Rottweiler. So we argued. She's like, you know, get out and this and okay. It sparked something in her and, and that's that's where it went. It's constant double dutch. Mm -hmm. It's constant, let me see where to mm -hmm. jump in. How do you thrive in that circumstance? I would spend more time with her so mm -hmm. that she would see day to day that my phone ain't the hotline. Mm -hmm. You ever worked this hard in a relationship before? No. Why are you choosing to do it now? Because I love her that much. She has my best interest since I met her. Her encouragement alone was just like, it shifted my whole train of thought. It got me back on the path I was supposed to already be on, you mm -hmm. know? You can feel responsible for what you did and still not take all of the responsibility of how this is manifesting through her. She can handle taking some responsibility for her actions. Mm -hmm. What's concerning is you can't make it perfect. Right. Are you being honest? Sometimes I'm keeping it all the way real, and sometimes I hold things back. I probably don't communicate as much as I should or how I should, but I'm actively trying to work on that. I want you to focus on being able to speak true to what you need. Speak the truth. It might bring some oxygen into the room. When I said that I would make it, I don't know why everyone thought I was faking. Y'all should have been down for it. Now you ain't no real. Hi, Miss Hi, Doc. Nico. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing better. Yeah, yeah, in this process? Mm -hmm. There are still things in the back of my mind that has me on the fence about this relationship. Next week is the week when we have to make our final decisions. I need to address these issues now so I can be sure that this is the man that I love and that I want to be with forever. Tell me how you guys got here. We were dating maybe three months, and that's when everything started happening. He apologized for getting caught, but he didn't apologize for actually causing it. So two and a half years later, do you feel like he's done the work? I feel like he's done the work. It's just been so many other instances where even if he was telling the truth, I was like, you're lying, I don't care. So then what's the goal? I do want to be with him, but mm -hmm. I still had so much anger and resentment because of what happened before. I feel like I am holding us back from moving forward. Instead of looking at what he doesn't deserve because what he did, to maybe look at what he does deserve because of what he's doing. I hear everything you're saying and I know, but... <laughs> sorry. You don't have to be sorry, it's okay. <laughs> My biggest fear is that if I do ease up, he's gonna hurt me again and I don't want him to hurt me. Hey, here's the thing. You actually want that possibility because if he can't hurt you, he also can't love you either. I mean, it's taken me almost three years to get over that. But it, you're not over. Well, working towards, I guess, now. What yeah. you're doing ain't working. Now you're right. You're right. In the beginning of this experience, I was saying, I want us to have a connection. I want us to have a connection. And I would always be the one like, mm -mm, I don't want it because you lied. And now I've been noticing the little changes that Vince has been doing. And I've been doing as well for myself. So there's growth there. So I'm hopeful. Give a chance to breathe, Tamika. If you squeeze in so hard, things that you squeeze so hard die. Yeah. So if you want what your parents have, there is some level of creating trust, offering forgiveness, and then giving you both the opportunity to live and let live. I think you have more power than you think. Use it to tr really try to achieve some joy in the relationship. I know. I know you know. The question is, what you gonna do? <laughs> That's the question. I'm going to work on I it. know what you know. I will. Okay. For myself. Hmm. I 
got a fever Cause she's stuck up in my head again a fever So, what you think about our future? Do you think that it's gonna work? That's up to you. I, I told you I was ready, but it seems like you still got some play you trying to do. No, not really. Hollywood has a hard time with me going on repeat dates with Kwame because I know that he knows that I like him. But these dates have brought out an insecurity that I, I've never even witnessed. As for the future, man, I never saw myself without you, you know? You knew that already. Mm -hmm. But this dating process, I don't need to see if you make me happy. Right. I already know you, my future. But I'm saying, like, when I saw my future, I didn't see my future without you in it. But the way you rocking is the way you feeling? Because right now, I guarantee that man feel like you like him. But why are you focused on him? I'm not jealous of this man, because I'm way colder than that. But I'm jealous of you, for you even letting yourself to even go that long of a route, babe, with, you know what I'm saying? Like, so right now, you don't even know if I'm even in your future. It, you was there. Be I'm not saying present. was. I'm talking about now. I'm talking about present well, I'm, tense. I, Like I said, it's really hard to know mm -hmm. my girls out there excited going on dates with another dude. You're just so fixated on that right because now. Because it hurts. It really hurts. I, I get it, but what frustrates me about you, like seriously, is that when we're having a conversation about the future, you were stuck in the past. If you don't have a vision for us, that's scary. Yeah. How can you not see a future with me just because I'm doing something that is what we both signed up to do? We didn't sign up to catch no feelings. We, we signed, signed up to go up. on different dates. So is this something that you want to not have a future? We got to see at the end of the process. It's called put a ring on it or not. We'll talk about that. I mean, when we get closer to it. Jesus. Good. Like I said. And see, that is the problem. I'm just telling you. No, I'm that is the I'm problem. I'm tired of this though. That's really how you feel? Yes, you know me. You know how I go. I saw my future with you. I did. Just letting you know, bro. No, you don't care about nobody. You think that's cute, and it ain't. You act like you don't care about my feelings. Who are you, you talking to like that, though? Stop. Why are you doing that? I told you, I can't, I can't, I can't let the process go. Okay. Well, if you can't let the process go, you're going to have to let me go. It's all I'm good. serious you because want. you are really doing the most right now. That's what you want. Honestly, I've never felt like that with him. It was horrible. I'm just like, oh well, maybe it's finally hitting home that this could be it. Well, it is clear that you do not see a future with me. You can fall in love, I can fall in love, I don't care. But me I'm good. Too. Me too. Let it, let it be where it be. That's why you're in a predicament you're in right now. Right, I'm happy. And you're just I mad can because be I'm happy. on a date with a guy that actually likes me and know how to express his feelings. Like, you don't him, express him feelings. Him dude. I ain't running about this dude. Okay. I told you it was you. OK, well, guess it what? No now feelings. you do have to worry about well, him. Well, I don't care. That's okay, what I'm trying to tell you. Care. I don't care. Because you know I can do okay. me. But you haven't seen me do me. I don't give a Okay, oh. well, you will see it. Well, do your thing then. We're going on another day, our third day, and the energy I felt with Tamika when I picked her up was I could see that she was frustrated, you know, upset, and I just was like, nah, we're gonna enjoy this this date and we're gonna have a good time. New energy. You already know, you know, already New know. New energy. <laughs> we need the cheers of that. We're the bottle. Oh, yeah, the bottle is right here. It is, it is. Vince and I have had a rough week trying to get control over our issues. Dr. Nicole gave me some really good advice that I feel like I can use for myself and in turn, it can help our relationship. So I feel like Devin will be a good soundboard to address those issues too. What's going on? It's a lot going on. Tell me about it. It's a lot of, it's just resurfacing old feelings and emotions and I'm just all over the place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But one thing that I do appreciate about being out with you is that I feel like I'm able to be myself and I felt like I lost a part of that in this relationship. You know, there's gonna be times where, you know, you're gonna go through some things, but losing yourself, me personally, I don't think is an option. Yeah, I have learned not being afraid to express how I feel. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like I got my voice back mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. So do you actually see yourself still being with him? Cause I mean, I just wanna know. <laughs> I know that I do love him and I mm. am in love with him. Mm -hmm. Everybody has like their little things about them that gets on your nerves, but I do want to be with him.
I mean, I do enjoy hanging out with you. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie and be like, oh no, never. But you know, considering I my situation. I understand. When Tamika told me she couldn't do this anymore, I was just like, why not? You know, I felt crushed, but I also understand where she's coming from with her situation. So I think that she was able to learn about some things that she might want in her own relationship. I appreciate you oh. agreeing to come out again. No, I appreciate you for <laughs> saying like, yes, I want to do it again. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I'm just glad I'm able to put, you know, you're able to woo some, I'm able to put that smile on your face again. Because you know you got a beautiful smile. Thank you. Dating other people has allowed me to be free, it has allowed me to be open, and it has allowed me to realize what was missing while being in this relationship with Vince. Because I feel like I lost a lot of who I used to be. I'm slowly discovering that person again. So cheers to... New energy. There we go. <laughs> <laughs>
Nicole. Nicole. How are you doing today? You doing all right, huh? Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. We're getting so close to the finish line, so let's make the most of it. There we go. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm joking. So this week, you had a choice. Either go on a repeat date with someone you already connected with, or not go out on a date at all. So let's get into it. Tamika, you went on a third date with Devin? I did. Was the attraction and the chemistry still there? It was still there, yes. Yeah? We talked about not being afraid to be myself, because I'm all about peace and love and everything, but it's like, when I'm with him, I turn into this paranoid person, and I felt like I lost myself because I did not want to be hurt again. So we talked about this in the beginning, that it was not going to be easy. No. That your job was to keep a goal in mind, follow rules and boundaries, and learn from the experience. It's important to have your voice in a relationship because you have to be able to speak your opinion and speak your mind in any situation, if it's the right thing, that is. <laughs> well, sounds like it was good. It was a really good day. I feel like it was closure for me. It was something that I definitely needed. So I feel like I'm growing because I'm starting to appreciate Vincent more. All right. So, Ashley, you chose a fourth date with Kwame. Tell us about the date. We kind of just sat and talked and, you know, had a good time. I was really the one that was shooting out all the questions because kind of, I guess, just get some clarity on really what he felt. What about the chemistry side? What was that like on this date? The chemistry was still there, as always. And on this date, we were sitting right next to each other. So it's kind of like when you kind of close and skin is touching skin, you do kind of feel that a lot more. What do you feel in your connection with Kwame that's different for you in Hollywood? It's still authentic, but it's just feel like it's a blockage here. There, it's kind of like the block that I'm doing is because I know I still am in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I wasn't in a relationship, maybe it would be more. And so the connection that I do have with him is just easier because it's new and because it's no drama. Man, we've been together for nine years. I know, but that me? nine Dude. years has everything. Connection on. Man, I still plug it up, you heard me? That connection's still there. I got the electricity. But right, but I need to be able to feel the electricity. It's the electricity could be though. on, but if you don't plug anything into the socket, oh, you're not gonna socket, get any baby. light. Do you hear what she's saying? I don't care, I gaze in the eyes too. I remember when I used to date chicks, I poured it on. So I know what dudes do on dates. I'm about that life. Whenever Hollywood tries to compare what he's done versus what my dates are doing, that's just him flexing. He's trying to puff out, trying to be the big man, and I don't think that he fully understands what his actions have done to me. What do you feel that you're learning about yourself? I am realizing that love is not enough. Because I love Hollywood a lot, but it's not enough for me to just say, because I love you, because it's not your, let's just go and get married. I can't bypass the rest of my feelings. I can't mm -hmm. just bury them and say, you know what, the rest of this will fix itself when you get married. I know that is not a fact. Right. I have a lot going on in my head and it's just swirling around. I know I do have a big decision to make. I don't know if love is just enough for marriage, to be honest, like, I just know what I want to do with my marriage when I get it. My heart is open for whatever she come up, whatever decision she makes. I'm willing for it. I don't want to be without her, but I'm gonna have to accept it. You want whatever you're gonna get genuinely, honestly, for real. Your best bet is to look at what you really want. Either we're gonna move forward or we're not, and go from there. Okay, it's time to move on. This week's assignment was about your vision of marriage and the future. I asked you to connect and find out if you're on the same page about this important decision that's in front of you. Shay and Michael, what did the conversation about the future reveal for the two of you? I still have a vision of us being a family, living together, her and my son having a great relationship, but I just don't know if we're married in that, in that vision. What's your vision, Shay? Being married, okay. having Zion move, and being a family, and being that bonus mom mm -hmm. that, that he needs. What is the positive for you in her vision? Her pouring into my son because she did it for me. I hear Shay saying all the right things when it comes to building a relationship with Zion, but I just feel like it's very rational for us to all live together for like a year or so and see if she really, really likes it. This has to be a successful family. And now we're starting to see that there's some gaps and holes in, in both of our, our views. What's the sabotage for you? 
The sabotage is me having my perfect vision and forcing it on him. But I feel like it's going to lead to our demise if we don't meet somewhere. The sabotage is me having my perfect vision and forcing it on him. But I feel like it's going to lead to our demise if we don't meet somewhere. I had very high hopes for this process and the outcome. And now I really don't know if Mike's going to propose at the end of this. Mike, is it possible that you're holding on to some concept of marriage that doesn't really fit for you anymore? My negative idea of marriage? It's a lot of outside influences that created that thought in my head. What is the possibility if you get rid of my vision is this and you get rid of other people's stuff that didn't work and you as best friends who love each other and have fun and all the things that you've told us about your relationship, try to co-create the vision together? I think maybe that vision is better than our individual visions. You know, that one. Flashing. Vision. Yeah. Then yeah. maybe you want to focus on that. Just a thought. Yeah. yeah. OK. I agree. Vincent, Tamika, where did you land on this? We had a conversation about it, but nothing's ever changed about that. We both want the same things. What do you want? What's the vision? Just have a family. I mean, I don't know what else. For communication, he said he's definitely working on it, but I still feel like there is room for improvement there for both of us, because I feel like if I'm not being heard in a relationship, then, you know, it's no point of being in it. What are the things that you're really clear for you and Vince that jeopardize that? Where are the saboteurs? For me, I feel like I would sabotage a lot because I was having those issues with trust. So I was not only hurting the relationship, I was hurting myself because I wasn't working on forgiveness. So six months from now, you see two texts come back to back. You know, the way he explains it. Well, Miss Doc, wait, don't ask that question. <laughs> Sometimes before when he would not answer his if phone, I, I was like, it. why didn't you answer your phone? What are you trying to hide? But, but <laughs> us laughing about it and doing that now, we're in a good place. I think the relationship since the last session has changed for the good, really, because we understand the jealous tendencies and all of that, right? Mm -hmm. I understand it now, and I know that I was also contributing to us not being on the same page. I'm a little more optimistic about the future and plans that we have and fulfilling those things. Miss Ashley and Mr. Hollywood, talk to me about your visions of the future. For my vision, I see me being happy, definitely marriage. I just see someone being there as a support system and me being that support system for them. I think the struggle for me, though, is I can't see a face in my vision. That's upsetting. It is. I don't know, it's just hard to, like after nine years, it's hard to see that he possibly won't be in my vision or even in my reality. When I heard my girl say she didn't see me in the future, it, it kind of hurt because I always wanted to be the man that she dreamed of being married to. What are the things that you want to see manifested if love is enough? And is that something that you believe you could co-create with Hollywood? When he goes off, it feels disrespectful. When I get to the point of thinking about co-creating something with him, I feel like I have to be assured that that part is not in it. How do you feel, Mr. Hollywood, hearing this? I'm listening. I'm not just hearing, I'm taking it all in because I want to change for myself and for her. I'm not ready to give up on him yet, but I recognize that there's work that still needs to be done for me to be okay with taking that next step and for us getting married. You guys have an amazing opportunity. You guys have done all of these assignments and you've been moving forward and doing your thing, trying to figure out, okay, should I just go in another direction here and call this done? Or do we move this to the next level? So all of you have a decision to make. Once and for all, are you gonna break up? Or are you ready to put a ring on it
We're getting down to the nitty gritty. It's almost over. You have to make a decision. It's scary. I am extremely frustrated with Mike and his indecision on proposing. At this point, it looks like we'll never get there. Me and Ashley have been together for nine years and keep fussing and fighting at the crib. You know, at the end of this, it might be old. At this point, there are only two choices, marriage or ending your relationship and going your separate ways. Don't lie about things. I'm telling you that, that now. Lie will come to the clutch. How are you feeling? Feeling amazing. Cheers. I wish I could feel amazing. Cheers. New beginnings. Yeah. I wanted it to be like an easier point. Like, OK, I know what it's going to be. What about this situation with Kwame? Can I get a kiss before you leave? Sir. At least I asked. Yeah, you It's only two answers you could give me. Ooh! Yay! Yay! Mike better get his together. If a proposal doesn't happen by the end of this, he has wasted my time, and I will leave him. I feel the pressure from Shay, but I just can't move off the fence. Once and for all, are you going to break up? I'm sorry I pushed you away the first time. I messed it up. I could lose my girl in a minute. Or are you ready to put a ring on it?